Angela O, oh, the All Recipes member that submitted this fun Halloween bloody baked rats recipe comments, this is a fun, inexpensive, creepy Halloween entree that will gross out and impress your dinner guests. It is mini meatloaves with cheese in the middle. When you cut them open, gooey cheese will come oozing out. These pests are sure to be a devilishly delectable dinner. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then, peel and chop half of a medium onion. Peel half of a medium carrot. And then thinly slice it into eighth of an inch thick slices. Cut a slab of cheddar cheese into one inch cubes. You'll need one cup. One member, Dan, offers this tip. Freeze your cheese cubes a little before stuffing the rats. It cuts down on leakage. Then put two pounds of ground beef into a large bowl. Crack a large egg into a small bowl and beat with a fork to blend. Add the beaten egg to the ground beef, along with a cup of dry breadcrumbs. the onion, and a one and a quarter ounce packet of meatloaf seasoning mix. Stir the ingredients to blend well. Now, let's form the mixture into rats. Measure out one third cupfuls of the meat mixture. Flatten it out into a rough patty. Mold the meat around a cube of cheese, like a meatball. Shape the balls so that they have a point at one end. And shape the bodies by molding them with your hands. Place the body into a baking dish. Leave plenty of room all around the rat for the whiskers and tails. We're using two baking dishes. Continue with the remaining meat, making eight rats in total. Next, break about one ounce of uncooked spaghetti into fourths. Insert one piece of the broken spaghetti into the rounded end of each of the rats to make tails. Then pour 30 ounces, that's three 10 ounce cans, of tomato sauce into a large bowl. Add a cup of sugar. And a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Stir the ingredients to blend well. Spoon the sauce over the rats in the baking dish. Cover the dishes with a piece of aluminum foil. Bake in the preheated oven for 45 minutes. Uncover the dishes. And continue to bake for another 20 to 30 minutes, basting occasionally with the sauce to glaze the rats. While the rats finish baking, put 16 frozen peas and the sliced carrots into a small covered microwave safe bowl and microwave on high for about 15 seconds. Transfer the rats to a serving platter so that their delicate tails don't fall off. Press the peas into the pointy end to make eyes. Insert carrot slices to make ears.
add four spaghetti whiskers. Spoon some of the tomato sauce around them. And serve hot. For different decorating ideas, follow suggestions by All Recipes member Holly who writes, Hubby suggested adding a cooked spaghetti noodle with the cheese inside to look like guts. Great Halloween dinner.